academics stuff, files, books. Mm -hmm. I know. We've been talking about this for months now. Mm -hmm. You don't want you don't want your grandpa to cut your hair? <laughs> that would be amazing. He's like eighty six, eighty seven, and he can't see too good, mm -hmm. so Exactly, mm. which is why we think it would be amazing. Oh, you should get a mullet. Uh, no, no, no. Mullet. <laughs> um, I'll say no to the mullet. <laughs> All right, how, how about some bangs? He's still, oh my gosh, he's still trying to get some women. <laughs> I don't think it'll be a woman like not, that. Not particularly, <laughs> oh. so. This thing has batteries charged, but I don't trust it. I don't buy it. Your vape still alive? Kind of, sort of, not really. It's on life support right uh -huh. now. I'm waiting for the charger to show up. It should be about tomorrow. Sometime before 9 mm. p.m. tomorrow, supposedly. Is it going to make it to the stream? Hmm. Mm -hmm. But my two undercover agents learned <laughs> about <laughs> socioeconomics. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, that was quite a bit based on what I heard. Wow. I can't believe Aaron also thought he typed me because he was scared of me. That's exactly what Adele said would happen. I I don't know why. I'm not a scary person in my opinion. Wait, is that his uh is that his real name? Uh I believe it is not. It's not but, is it, he told me. Is that the guy we talked to yesterday? Aaron? Uh, no, lamb sauce. No, no, no. Aaron is oh, the one okay. that's always okay. on voice chat. The E S T I S T P. The oh, voice chat. I S T P. Okay. He well, believes he's an E S T P. I, I typed him as an I S T P. Um. Okay. He's the one that has like that Russian name that has like the yellow oh, anime okay. characters on voice chat. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, the Australian. Australian? Yeah. I only know two Australians. Years and Well, now you know one of them. Druid was Australian? What? I said Druid was Australian? Yeah. He said he lived close to the outback. But not quite. Oh, right God. I just lost respect for Australia. <laughs> She's you heard it here live. Are we live right now? <laughs> so you are live. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we've been streaming for the past like four minutes and eighteen seconds. So. Oh, okay. You have to tell us these things. <laughs> <laughs> Do I though? Didn't seem like it. <laughs> yes, we can't just be wilding alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Uh, remember to uh, <laughs> like the stream, like mm -hmm. comment. Oh, that reminds me, I need to make an announcement. The chat thing. Oh, well, I figured you would too. Hi, Pencap. Mm -hmm. Pencap always, almost always says hello. First, before everyone else. 
That is who true. Is, who is Pencat? I have no idea. And I have no idea either. I've always wanted to know. Are they in the Discord? I don't think he's in the Discord. I'm assuming it's a he. Pencap, you should join the Discord. Yes, listen to little Bob. That's the name I'm giving her for now on. Bob. Lil Bob. Lil Bob. Lil Bob. Bob. Mm -hmm. All right, so Socionics, what are we, we going to talk first, about? We're first going to talk about what you two ladies were typed as by someone who I supposedly was very respected in the Socionics community. <laughs> and so, what did he type you as then? Well, I got uh, F-I-E-S-I, -E so F-I-S-E in Socionics. Okay. Which apparently means that I am very confident and express my moral values and demand them to be followed. So when do you do that exactly? <laughs> well, <laughs> um, I I'll get back to you on that one because I'm not about really your sure. Moral values, then, please. Uh, I would like to hear about them too. Um. Well. Uh. Guys, this is putting me in the spot, and I don't know where my morals are. Right, <laughs> I don't. I can't find them most of the time. But I'm most sure... people have some pretty basic morals and values, like okay, killing babies, yeah. you know, in their crib. Most people think well, that's, it you know, bad. Uh, unnecessary cruelty. Most people think is bad. Yes. Those kinds of things. Now, whether or not you express them is a different story. Yeah. Well, I mean, with the baby one, it depends, right? Because if it's a baby that has, like, maybe some radioactive thing or just <laughs> is going to be poisonous or has, like, this toxic blood, then, yeah, sure, let's get rid of him, you know, first, you know, sooner than later. But if not, then no. It's not doing anything to you. So that's, that's part <laughs> of my ethics. There you go. Good ethics, I suppose. <laughs> I'm not sure how, how do we judge ethics. I'm not sure. Um, I I I don't know. But well, also, apparently, I'm a. Mm -hmm. Your morals and values can be whatever, right? Like they don't have to be what um, people like think of when they think of morals and values, correct? Like a. You know, like, murder is bad. Maybe an FI user believes that murder is good, right? Uh, not necessarily, uh, but, yeah, I think it's plausible that a feeling preference person could believe that certain acts that are normally considered to be bad could, in fact, be good. It's, I, it's, mm -hmm. it's possible. Uh, usually you meet those kind of characters in, like, fantasy settings. You know, where there's like evil yeah. gods and then those evil gods have their followers or disciples and then they like, oh, murder's great, it's the best thing ever it's, uh, you know, that, 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 that feeling you get when you, when you stab somebody yeah, yeah, that's, you know, that's usually where you can see that kind of behavior yeah. in polite society uh, typically you don't find that kind of behavior so uh, they really believe that causing physical harm to someone is a positive. But theoretically... Well, yeah. I mean, that's just an example. I don't think majority of people are going to, you know, feel that way. But that was just like an example of like a something that people would normally consider as, you know, moral that, I don't know, maybe somebody with introverted feeling would feel the opposite way you know like maybe in terms of like a abortion right like um there's some that believe that uh abortion is wrong and some that believe that well i mean you know i'm not saying they believe that it's necessarily right but that it's some, someone's choice that they can be able to do it right and so like your th those fi values can be they, they don't have to look a certain way, is all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Um, mm -hmm. um, I was typed as, uh, Ben, do you remember what they were? I don't remember yes, anymore. Yes, N-E-F-I. N-E-F-I. I-E-E. -E. Yeah. Yes. So that, are we supposed to say where that's supposed to be in MBTI or no? It's oceanics, or? That's what they said, and they um, told Ben what hers was. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Ben is supposed to be an, an ISFP. Mm-hmm. Correct. So it, it's basically she was more trusting, right? So that's why she got an E, and I am not very trusting. Um, so that influence, you know, our typings, because, you know, for my typing, it says that I am a fighter for ecology and human life and have a negative attitude toward violence and cruelty. That's me, guys. Thank you, PenCap. My voice was probably not clear at all. Let me, let me fix all of that. Forgot to change it to the condenser. And hopefully I don't blow out their ears. Anyway. He didn't uh he didn't say that I was trusting. He said that was the reason I got FI is because I am um I'm fake and therefore it's because I have to like really know and trust a person and then uh and then I'm not fake anymore and so therefore that's FI or something. Mm -hmm. So what, what I was getting from it was that in, in socionics, introverted feeling is extroverted feeling in MBTI. He just yeah. it as tr like trust, trusting people. So I would. Yeah. And as for the whole that. trusting people in general, um, I don't know of a large number of people that are always trusting. Usually that comes from living in a relatively safe environment in that you you feel like you can just trust everyone so mm -hmm. i'm not sure that i would attribute uh trusting nature to any particular function uh, yeah really just life experience would determine that yeah so i'm not sure how they uh are able to confidently say uh, that certain types are just always trusting because obviously you're going to get that's going to be wrong but that, that's a guaranteed wrong <laughs> diagnosis mm -hmm. for someone you'll eventually stumble upon someone who's not trusting which should be approximately 90 percent of the human race so mm -hmm. seems uh very very silly and that's uh what 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 else was it for socionics like certain types look a certain way as well <laughs> Yes, yes. I send you the pages so you can see the description. You well, read, read them, them to me. <laughs> okay. Well, let's look it up. Um, I, ESI is recognized by a characteristic of a piercing gaze and a facial expression of which her alertness and willingness to resist are written. <laughs> this feature is very well traced in the American actress Jane Fonda. And so, <laughs> hold on, hold on. And it was what? What was the look exactly? Piercing gaze and uh, facial expression that shows her alertness and willingness to resist. And and what types? ESI. So the F I S E, the one that I am, because we are ethical. F E F E S I. F-I-S-E. I see. Okay. Uh-huh. So, in, uh, according to socionics, um, introverted feelers who have a preference for extroverted sensing also have intense, uh, an intense gaze, which mm -hmm. uh, uh, every one of them has an intense gaze. <laughs> so, all ISFPs and ESFPs apparently have an intense gaze and they're not they don't look fun loving at all <laughs> and you know try to take life as it comes you know being improvisational 
uh, obviously that's incorrect. Uh, assuming that that is in fact from Socionics, uh, that's that or that's incorrect. <laughs> that's that's very bad information. So, yay. Yay. Well, but not only that, the lips of an ESI are usually not narrow, but swollen and tightly compressed. The face is well coordinated without protruding. <laughs> Also, we found out that apparently, according to this 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 writing here, is that ESFPs and ISFPs have fat lips, and <laughs> what else? Um, the face is well coordinated without protruding. What does it mean to be a well coordinated to have a well coordinated face? I I don't know. It says sh sharp cheekbones as well. And sharp cheekbones. Yes. Do you know how insane that sounds? <laughs> that <laughs> certain types have a very specific bone structure. Mm -hmm. That's it. The, the more I hear about this stuff, the more it sounds like fan fiction, right? Like mm -hmm. someone's literally just in their attic, you know, with cocaine and they're just writing out, oh yeah, these types have, you know, these facial features. They've got this kind of a hairline, their nose deviates slightly to the left. Like it, it, it's insane. <laughs> And obviously ridiculous, but continue on. I want to hear more. Oh, gosh. Okay. If the ethical component is strengthened, so like me, apparently I'm very confident, the facial expression depicts discontent, a critical mood, and sometimes anger. Uh, they're often very thin with elegated long legs, such as those in Valette, Maya, Plisenskaya. And they are stately with broad shoulders. We are characterized by strictly elegant clothing. Uh, a shade is officially is always always present when she is outside the house or receiving guests. Does that sound like yes. you? <laughs> I mean, I, I wear pajamas all day. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> <At> one time... <laughs> One time, the guy that comes, you know, I live in an apartment home. So one time, the guy that fixes like the apartment, he he even told me one time that I should maybe think about wearing something else that wasn't pajamas. <laughs> oh, a complete stranger decided to tell you about your wardrobe. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so uh, once again, another description that doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, understandably, it. I don't. Uh, this. Are we sure that this is like real socionic stuff? No. Well, this is what he sent me. Like, this is an actual book on psycho psychological types, like that portrays the socionics. This is like the full uh, description of them. Mm, yeah. The full description. So, apparently, regardless of where you come from, uh, as long as you are this type, you are going to behave in very specific manners. Uh, you're going to dress a certain way. You're going to have a certain bone structure, uh, the look, you know, uh, the, the way your lips are shaped, all that fun stuff. That's. I, I kind of want to go with unhinged at the moment. <laughs> I mean, apparently there are subtypes, but, you know, this is. This sure. Is yeah. Well, yeah. you're going to have to have subtypes because inevitably your system's going to fail and it's not going to work. Yeah. There's going to be way too many inconsistencies. How do you remedy this? Oh, just say the subtypes. Ah, that explains it. Now they're, they're this type, but they're ever so slightly different in these very specific ways. So if you keep doing that, you should have a system where you've got the core system. And then when 99% of the people don't fall into it, you've got about 3 billion subtypes <laughs> that make up all the other people. <laughs> right? I mean, that works. Yeah, that makes huh. sense. Like, you have to have subtypes. You're going to have to. So they can fit with whatever you, you know, yeah. you type them as. So, that's just insane. But uh, continue, I want to hear, what's the ENTP personality? ENTP, oh wow, I don't know. I'm going to have to mm, Google Do that. Do some one. maths. <laughs> you know I what, let me, let me the, put back. I think it's the L-I-E. I, I think it is too, but I just want to double check, make sure I'm looking at the right one. The logical, intuitive extrovert. Okay, tell us more. It's it's actually I L E. 
Oh, I L E. I L E. Okay. Let me look for it, and I'll tell you. I L E is the searcher. Okay, this is taking a little bit too low, so give me a moment. Take your time. We're hourly. <laughs> hey, it's it, it, this book is six hundred pages. Okay. <laughs> no, I was I was being sincere. I meant to take your time. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, thank you. It's not going to bother anybody. <laughs> Part of the appearance for it says, um, of the of the external signs of the ILE, the figure and the posture attract attention first of all. The figure is long and thin. Parts of the body are also elongated. What does that mean? Uh, like essentially, the they're aliens are... is what I'm hearing so far. They're, they're aliens. <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah. And who would take that shit seriously? <laughs> who would do that? <laughs> well, I mean, I think it depends, right? Like, sure, if, yeah. If there's someone that maybe explain it to us a little bit better that has more of an understanding and they can, you know, have a more logical explanation to it, you know, I'll be willing to listen. I, I think maybe whoever wrote this was. <laughs> a little out there uh, you know it's just like with mbti right we have 16 personalities mm -hmm. so it, it, this might be something like that although i don't know why someone that's respected in the community would send me something that they don't believe in but um yeah maybe we can get a better idea sometime i'll, I'll try to study it you give it a shot and tell me how it works yes i i found go ahead Oh, I was gonna keep reading, but you you can go ahead. I I know I found the re the searcher, so the ENTPs. Um, so the ENTP, it says here, is adept at seeing distant perspectives, prospects, always having numerous ideas and new projects. Okay. He is indiscriminating. He's interested in everything in hopes of finding something unique. He is scatterbrained and inattentive. And uh, let's see what else we find, because that makes sense. Slander, I tell you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> During a conversation, he likes to twirl something in his hands. For example, a pen, often breaking this object. While walking or when talking enthusiastically about something, he waves his arms. What? <laughs> so, like, so the ENTP is kind of like this Dr. Seuss character? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Yes. How fun. Yes. So, their posture attracts attention, first of all. Posture. They're long okay. and thin. Long and thin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Parts of the body, body are also elongated. This is especially evident in the length of the legs and the fingers of the hand. Goodness. <laughs> they sound absolutely freakish. <laughs> they sound like a Slender Man. <laughs> slender Man? Uh, do I... Do my... Do my fingers seem... Particularly <laughs> slender? No? Maybe? This... This one says they are very cold, completely devoid of emotion and passion. Okay. That's a... What a cheerful outlook. Personality. <laughs> so, it seems to me that their description for ENTP, at least, you know, personality-wise, because that's what it's supposed to be about, probably is more apt to describe an ENTJ rather than an ENTP. Hmm. <laughs> it says um, clothes almost always sit on him badly. The buttons tear. <laughs> Why? I wonder. I wonder if they could explain that. If that's explainable. This well, this does like this isn't that. real. I'm convinced that this isn't real. This is just some troll stuff. This is not something that anyone actually believes. I'm positive. Yeah. I don't I don't buy it. Tell us more about another personality type. What were the ones that were super trusting? Was it uh ENTPs? 
ENTPs are super... Yeah. Really? Is it? Okay. Yeah. I thought it was like some kind of a feeler one, but okay, no, it's fine. Uh, so ENTPs are also supposed to be in Socionics, an ENTP is supposed to be hyper trusting because I assume they have uh, what's that? What's that disease? Like Williams syndrome or something? Where you have a, a kind of elf in appearance, but you're too stupid to understand uh, things like suspicion <laughs> in people. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Apparently, all ENTPs have a uh, have have a Williams syndrome or whatever it's called. At least I think that's it. Might not be though. So once again, I I don't know who would believe that this was true. But uh, here we are. And now, what about the ENTP is supposed to make it trusting? Is it a specific function or is it just a combination? The any, the any. Any is supposed to be trusting. Extroverted apparently. intuition is supposed to be about trust. That doesn't make any sense, though. Uh, it doesn't he said make I any was sense. Not trusting. Well, well, yeah, I'm just talking about what he said. Like uh, he's not making any sense. You tell him, girlfriend. He's not. <laughs> well, he said that um, the reason I got the FI is because I am not trusting. Um, and but I also have. He also said I have dominant NE, so that okay. doesn't make any sense. Because if the NE is supposed to make you trusting. Supposed to make you trusting? Well, maybe it's just with the TI. Maybe. Who's to say? Because I also am like, very untrusting, which is why I'm an FI dominant, because I don't trust anyone. Mm. She don't trust no one. <laughs> I mean, people lie. You never know. Like really, do how, how many people are actually that trusting? Who's that? Boy, it's Craig, <laughs> my cousin Why Craig. Uh, Craig, before you say anything, just remember that you're currently on live stream. So, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, so you know. Oh my gosh, we have an ESTP. Yeah, my we'll cousin, my cousin is has joined my Discord. He's a good boy. I really like him. He's... I can come back great. another time. <laughs> no, no. Or you can just tell, stay tell here. Tell us That's about too. yourself, Craig. Oh, gross. Bob has oh. been asking about you, so. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. got a message earlier. I was like, all right, let's see what, <laughs> what's going on in this cord. <laughs> yeah, she's like, she says, uh, hey, uh, Urchin, can you, uh, can, can you tell your cousin to talk to me or something like that? And I was like, you fucking tell him. <laughs> <laughs> lazy ass <laughs> I gave her the typical like one word response I was like sure there you go <laughs> well look we've caught him now so you caught him okay. but we're talking about yeah. socionics today so you're gonna have to wait I don't even know what the fuck that is <laughs> <laughs> we don't either don't worry <laughs> we're trying to figure it out together we we're trying to figure it out today Imagine, um, imagine that there is a typology you. that knows your behavioral patterns just based on the size of your lips. <laughs> Try to imagine such a thing, uh, and that's socionics, I apparently. That. <laughs> I, yeah, no, it's it's a little bit, it's a little bit weird. Uh, I'm big if true. Type and, see, and see what his uh, description is. I'll let you know yeah. when I have it. Mm -mm. So you are the marshal. The marshal. Mm hmm. And that's uh, ESTP. And that's ESTP. I prefer Maverick. <laughs> 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 you tell him. <laughs> oh gosh, that is very interesting, though. All right, let's see what we got yeah, in the good chat. Organizer. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Sociotics debunked. <laughs> debunked. <laughs> That's okay. I'm sure in Socionics you're supposed to be some like five legged freak that uh, has mm -hmm. like bird thin lips and uh, your bone structure, like your, your cheekbones are somehow below your nose or something. <laughs> 
Well, it says here, and so Sionics is law, is that they use procedures but carefully keep things in order, freeing up space, is good at making things by hand, and provides everything necessary for the home. They seek comfort, prosperity, and material acquisitions. How about that, Craig? <laughs> you agree? Oh, a little frightening. Uh, that's close. <laughs> <laughs> it's darn close. <laughs> well, you are recognized by the shape of your movements. And enhanced sensation has a rule, as a rule, is a thin figure. If it's a woman, she'll look fragile. And not act. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like 6'2", 270. <laughs> Pretty big dude. Well, man is self-confidence and logical. Stocky. Your movements right. are unchanged and free. So, yeah. Your nose is neutral, by the way. Your neutral. nose is unremarkable. Your nose is unremarkable. How dare you? It's neither <laughs> ugly nor is it cute, so I'll give it that. Yeah, accurate. It says the eyebrows often have a kink. Yep. Let's Got see. Kinky eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> it shows your dissatisfaction. Let's see. Threatening brings them to the bridge of the nose. Uh, Pencap has a good question. Uh, suppose someone got plastic surgery, how would that affect their type? <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'll have to review old photos to type them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so far, it seems kind of silly. Just a little bit. Yeah. Understandably. Apparently, Craig, you apparently present the ultimatum of you have chosen me. Now you have to listen to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yes, this is here. I don't give old matums. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer to hide from my problems versus. <laughs> no. Thank goodness. Good times. Anyway. It's having a difficult time charging the batteries. Then yeah, how much longer struggling. until that uh, charger gets mm. here? Oh, I let me check. Anyways, uh, what else did we learn about Socionics? Was there anything useful uh, out of Socionics that we learned? That there are delusional people out there. Socionics is I mean, for delusional people. Is that what I heard? I think so. Okay. the same thing about crystal energy users <laughs> crystal energy users <laughs> people mm -hmm. who believe in astrological signs uh... <laughs> there you go so uh my cousin who has uh virtually no understanding of anything we're talking about has compared socionics to crystal reading <laughs> so i just want to <laughs> point that out <laughs> damn sensors I tell you <laughs> <sighs> which I'm yeah, inclined I'm inclined to believe him after I read the whole facial typing thing <laughs> <It's> like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> see I, I want the, whatever system I'm trying to learn here I, I want it to be useful to me to some degree. It, it's got to mm -hmm. have some use. So for me, you know, MBTI helped me categorize people and their behaviors. I was already aware of their behaviors, but now I had terminology to use. Things that made it easier mm -hmm. for me to remember. Turn it into